shoulder delineation begins right in front of the shoulder blade. And I place my fingers pointing down in a curve. And the purpose of this is to start to really delineate the shoulder to create a definition when a horse is really bent on the forehand. <laughs> They're often very tight in this area. So I go down slowly through this area. And it's not unusual to feel very thick, tight muscles as you reach down to the point of the shoulder. And if the, it is that way, I just let my body rotate and I just delineate the area anyway. And if you notice my body rotating, and then let them think about it. to notice the difference between the two sides. want to move with it, but when you can really get in deep, there he's actually starting to let me in. Can you see the difference? Almost like half of my hand is in there. So would you keep doing that if that was tight until it loosened up like that, or just play it by ear? Well, he's not complaining. Yeah. So if he's not complaining, and you can sometimes just get in there. to go down in shoulder delineation up through caterpillar down through the cheek times the posture begins to change.
cheek delineation, caterpillar shoulder delineation, and chin rest are the first five exercises that start releasing the head and neck. Chin rest, I just come up underneath the chin and support the horse's weight. When you have a horse that is very head high and not wanting to give contact, even coming up underneath the whiskers is sometimes not a pleasant thing for them or they, they don't want anything underneath that chin. If they don't, just come up and visit the whiskers and then take your hand away and comb. And eventually they let you put their hand, your hand there and I'm using my body, I'm resting my hand on my hip. And it's just like, it is a chin rest. <laughs> and they oftentimes just let their head go, the weight of their head in your hands, like he's just doing right this minute. become confident and enjoys the exercise, I can take the weight of their head and come up a little bit. And I'm actually really holding his head right now. Sometimes it takes up to a minute for them to just um, give you a response or come out of their little place of thinking. 